Yo, what's going on guys? It is Max. Welcome back to the channel. So I just got back from hitting shoulders and legs and bro, I am fried. Like I put 100% intensity into my lips today, which is what you should be doing by the way. I'll get to that later. Because the topic of today's video is things I wish I knew before I started lifting. And these are really important because to be honest, I learned these over time and I'd rather that the people watching this video who are trying to get into the gym, trying to get that fitness, knew this beforehand because the results will, you know, instead of maybe going like this, the goal up faster and that that's the goal today before i show y'all though let me get you a little montage of the workout because the first topic is intensity and exercises in the best form are more a priority than doing weight because if you keep on doing heavy weight in the gym you go to the gym and you just ego lift this shit out of, like you take the heaviest weights and you just keep on doing those not only much you get injured you're gonna have a false sense of how much you can actually lift because once you do it with real good form your lifts are literally gonna go back down the ground zero number three is you get the best gains in that so here is me going full-on intensity full-on form in the Second off, another thing I really wish I knew. By the way, I was like, how f***ing white I am, holy sh**. Is that diet is actually a lot less complicated than you think. Yes, I tell you to get all the nutrients, all this, all that. But to be honest, most of these things are kind of in these foods if you do this certain pattern, which is half your plate's greens and you have carbs and protein. Protein surplus if you're trying to bulk and all that good stuff. And what I mean by this is that whenever you cut in bulk, there is one difference between cutting and bulking. And that is the amount of food you're eating. When you get in a bulk, don't start eating a bunch of that bullshit. Don't start eating all that shit that you think is okay just because, you know, getting your calories in. But you're going to look terrible. No offense, of course. You know, I'm not trying to call my viewers terrible. And you're going to feel terrible. So do you want to feel terrible? I, I didn't think so. And to add on to this, diet will literally do just as much as going to the gym. But you also need to do both diet and gym if you want to look amazing. So if you honestly just want to lose weight, you can just eat right. And that's all you need to do. If you want to have muscle to replace it and possibly get a little better results, lifting weights. Make sure you keep that in mind. The third piece of advice I have for you is to have a good idea of what you need. Because getting into it and not even counting, yes, you can get newbie gains, you'll look good, but you know, to get the overall long, delayed gratification of a good build, you need to understand what your body needs. So not only are you gonna listen to your body, you can actually get a good idea of what you need. So try to get your maintenance calories. There's multiple sources out there to get your maintenance calories. Maintenance calories will tell you everything you need to know about your body. Yes, it's not the most accurate, but it's definitely a good starting point. And with that, you know, you can obviously follow the simple rules as you take your weight, make sure you weigh yourself in the morning because there are factors to your weight that matter. Like simple things like bro, <laughs> literally taking a dump can take off two pounds. That's why I'm not the biggest advocate for weight because there's things out there. But just try to eat 1.5 times your weight in protein. The fourth thing I got for y'all today is that your diet literally means so much. You can go as long as you think in the gym, a year, two years, and you will maybe not even see the best results if you're eating like Yes, you'll have maybe some abs, you'll have good definition, but if you really look at it, all right, the best results come with the least flaws. So if you eat bad, that is a flaw. You might have results, but not the best results. The goal here is to have the best possible potential that your genetics offer along with your own mental capability. So for me, I struggle a little bit, all right? I'll give it to you. I have at least one to two cheat meals a week, which is not a lot to some people, but to some other people, you're like, damn, I'm the one giving you advice and I'm eating and fucking like cheating on my diet. Yes, that's my fault. But lately, I've been on a streak. I've been on a week without a single cheat meal. I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna hit a new PR of cheat meals and not have any for a month or two. So let's see how that goes. Try that out, by the way. Instead of setting PRs in the gyms, try having PRs at home by not eating like shit. It works. Another thing that I got for y'all is you don't actually need to train every single day. Yes, it might feel good for you, but for me personally, every other day works perfectly fine because I have other things I need to do. I love the channel. I love making videos, but it's not the only thing I do. So, you know, I have to plan it out. And every other day actually gives your body rest. When you rest, you'll notice that you can lift, lift a lot more. A sixth thing I have for you is to start getting some sleep. I know almost half the people watching this video right now do not get enough sleep. Six to seven hours of sleep is not enough. Eight to nine is ideal. It's summer so I can finally sleep in, get all my hours of sleep in. So yes, my lifts have been better ever since I started sleeping. Like today was one of the best workouts of my life. I sweated so much. I was dying at the end. It was great. I felt fulfilled. Another thing I have for y'all is water. H2O. The f the best thing your body can probably have water you can't live without it etc so make sure that you are getting water water almost works better than pre-workout bro it really does if you are full on water full on sleep you are unstoppable maybe some sugar if you want pre-workout get you a little scoop of honey natural pre-workout that shit is real the last thing i have for you all today is to try to drop the fake foods yes fake foods you look at the back you're like damn that is some cool ass shit. And you look at real food and you're like, wow, I'd much rather have the fake food. But then you realize it, it, it's fake. It's engineered. Your body probably doesn't f with it, which is fine because I do a little bit of both. I try to have as much real food as possible, but sometimes it's hard to, you know, fill in the amount of protein I need. So I'll get a protein bar too. Maybe make a little fair life. Fair life is real food too, but just don't protein bars mainly. So real food helps you as much as possible. If you're cutting and you want a snack, don't go in the pantry try to go you know on the counter table wherever you store your fruits and get some fruit i recommend watermelon or bananas 
or just whatever you like. Anyway though, thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna try to get longer videos. This video is definitely gonna be a little longer, but you know, I woke up late today, so I just ran to the gym, filmed what I was doing, and now I'm gonna post this today, and I really hope all you enjoyed this video. Please tap the notification bell. I'm gonna pin the first comment on every single video because, bro, we need to. So make sure you all are winning the day, and tap in. See y'all later.